What's happening, y'all? It's your boy back at it again. Man without clue. Hope everybody had a good day today. Hope you caught up on your favorite stuff, favorite anime, manga, comic books, and everything in between. So guess what? We gonna talk about that Black Clover chapter. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. The devil gets his due. And he damn sure got it today. But before I start off, you know I gotta say thank you guys for all the love and support you've been giving me so far. I really do appreciate it. And remember, this does not happen without you guys, all right? So if you want that good content still, like, comment, subscribe, press on them bell notifications too, and drop a comment. I wanna talk to you guys. Let me know what you think about the chapter. Let me know what you think about the videos, man. If you got any suggestions of what anime or manga or comic books you want me to read, let me know in the comments below. Let's get it. So we talking about Black Clover 260, right? Yo, this was this was crazy. I'm gonna get to the Xenon part in a minute. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. But let me talk about Asta's arm real quick, right? So I like the design of it. I said that in my reaction. It has the red and black. Um, I, I think it's red and black. I believe it is. It has like that little uh, little broken skein thing. I don't know how to explain it, but it, I like the design of it. It looks so cool. It really looks like the hand of like, uh, I said that this in my other room. I said this in my reaction too. Excuse me. I said this in my reaction uh, also. It looks like uh, Master Gundam's um, hand or uh, Gundam Epion, if you will. Uh, so the design looks pretty cool and it looks like he's gonna keep that arm because uh, as part of the devil pack that he made with his devil, uh, it, it, it seems that he had to sacrifice his arm. So I don't know if that means his arm is going to stay that way or if it does stay that way, is, it, is uh, Asta going to be able to control it? Like, will it just act up at times? You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm very excited to see what happens after that, at, with, with this development. Uh, I'm excited to see with, uh, what happens after this, you know? Actually, I just thought about it too. What if it's a foreshadowing that Asta's gonna die in the future? Like, it'd be crazy if he actually does succumb to the demon and he becomes a demon, uh, not a demon, a devil, like Xenon and the others. And you know has to stop him. Like, it would be like Asta becomes a devil and you know becomes the wizard king and they gotta cook and they gotta uh fight each other. Like Lit had to fight um the first wizard king. That would be that would be so dark. But it would be awesome and a, and a great twist for a shonen title, at least to me. I don't know. Uh, but if that does happen, I told you so. <laughs> but nah. Um, I, again, I, I think that'd be a great twist if that were to happen. Also, the relationship between Yami and his crewmates, or, or uh, yeah, his crewmates, I'm really, I, I really like how they emphasized on that these past couple of chapters, especially with Asta. I was, I said last chapter that um, Yami looks to Asta, I think like a, almost like a little brother or a uh, father, almost like a, a, a son, a little bit. And you know, Asta, I think he looks at um, Yami as a father figure, if you will, or again, like a big brother, you know? This is the man that trained him. This is the man that showed him how to fight without using magic. He's got the anti-magic sword, yeah. And that's an OP, sorry, that's an OP um, power to have. But again, Asta is human at the end of the day. So Yami was able to give him some uh, tools so that he can use in his battle against Eve. And you know, that's something that you're not gonna forget, man. 
And I, I really like that. And I like the, the little family gathering, you know, the family dynamic that the Black Bulls have. And you see that in this chapter. Especially when my man Xena came. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This dude appeared out of nowhere. Like, fuck, like freaking Houdini or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did not expect this dude to be coming at all, right? I should have, maybe, but I, I really did. I really did. I really did. I, I thought maybe Dante would have got up and we got a, sec a second wind or something. I, I don't know, but I never would have expected this dude to just pop up out of nowhere. And he popped up with, I think he, I think that was like, what, 50 or 60% of his power, I think? And, yo, he, 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 he caught Yami right there, bro. And, the look on Yami's face was like, yo, who the fuck he do the, who the hell are you? And then, got Yami, stabbed him up with the bones, with the bone attack, done. And, and yeah, and so he actually had William Vengeance with him too. So, now, Xenon, or Dark Triad now, has both keys to the kingdom. They first needed um, a tree-based magic which was William Vengeance. And now they have the darkness, which is Yami. So now they have both keys. And Xenon then skeeted out of there real quick with no problem. Actually, he tried to kill Asta before he left because he saw him. He was like, yeah, you, I see your arm, dude. You owe me trouble. Let me take care of you right now. Done. But my man Fenro came in the clutch. I, I can't believe I forgot his name uh, when I did the reaction. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. I don't know. But Fenro, my dude. And Fenro, I got it. He was the MVP of this whole chapter, bro. Fenro, again, he is one of the most dangerous people in the Black Bull. Yeah, he, you know, he liked to flirt. He liked to, he liked to mess around with the girlies and all that. But, yo, if he was straight training... He would be above, I mean, I think he is above his brother a little bit, but he would be so far above his brother, it wouldn't even be a contest. This dude could transport anywhere he wants, okay? This dude was able to dodge Xenon's attacks with his power, okay? This is a devil we're talking about here. That's what I'm saying. The Black Bulls, you say what you want about them, misfits, whatever. They got some of the most powerful people in that group, bar none. That's what we've seen throughout this whole uh, series. The Black Bulls got some of the most powerhouses on their team. Vanessa. Vanessa can damn near warp reality, change reality if she wants to. That, and you really think about it like that with her power. That's insane. And then you got my man, I think, yeah, you got my man Henry with the uh, with the transforming um, base trying to get at Xenon too. And Garouche trying to get at him too. Nothing. Xenon just demolished everybody. He looked at them like, he looked at them like, uh, like they were Teletubbies or something. Like, nah, I don't got time for this. I, I gotta go. We gotta open this gate. It's time. I gotta go. I don't have time for this. Man, I tell you what though, it was sad to see uh, that ending where uh, you see Yami's face as like he's like, yo, I accept it. And then you see the shocked face out of all the black bulls on that other side of the panel. And then you see Asta's face calling out for Captain Yami in that little sp in that spread uh, at the end. Damn, I was damn. Ah, sheesh. It, it looks to me like we're going to get a Yami retrieval arc. <laughs> That's what it looks like here. And just like I said in my um, reaction, this is definitely the Empire Strikes Back of this arc. You know what I mean? Like, this is where the heroes lose. Yeah, they got a quick victory for a moment. And, and, I, and listen, I'm not putting that down that is a great victory to have 
These devils are no joke. I keep saying that in every freaking review. These devils are something else. Powerhouses. OP as hell. But even that wasn't that long because Xenon came in, destroyed everybody, and bounced with both Yami and Captain Vengeance. So I don't know how they're gonna get out of this one, bro. I, I really don't know how they're gonna combat these devils after this point. I don't know what they're gonna do. Oh, and before I forget. I liked, uh, maybe it was just me, and I said this in my reaction too, I saw that uh, Dante has that scar now, where Asta slashed him. So I'm wondering if, hmm, I'm wondering if we're going to get a part two of Dante versus Asta. Kind of like uh, uh, in Bleach, where you had Grimjow, one of my favorite characters, uh, was fighting Ichigo and Ichigo landed that scar on him and Grimjaw left that scar on purpose. All right, so let's get to the conclusion. Let's get to my rating, right? You know I got to give this a 9 out of 10 right off the bat. This was a great chapter. The Xenon surprised me. I did not know they was going to go this route with him. I thought maybe the devil in Dante was going to take over Yami. Um... But I like how it went, and now the gang got to go and get uh, Boa Pachika, William Vengeance, and yeah. So, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe all the nations get together and storm they castle and, and, and try to do something. Because I'm telling you, I don't know how they're going to beat these devils. These devils are no joke. But we're going to have to see uh, after, you know? All right, guys, so that is my time. I just want to say thank you for all the love and support you've been giving me so far. I really do appreciate it. And if you want more videos like this, if you like the video, if you hate the video, comment down below. Let me, uh, tell me your thoughts. And, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and press those bell notifications too. Because when I drop that hot content like I'm doing now, you're going to be the first one to know. And with that, guys, I'm out of here. Deuces.